Yep. I'm here with Patrick Watson, who's just performed tonight at the Spiegel Tent. How was tonight uh, as opposed to yes, um, was it uh, Sunday night? Well, you know, every night's always really different, so it, you never know what to expect. I think they're kind of similar in the sense that, like, the Spiegel Tent and the time we're playing is they're kind of quiet and pretty shows. Where if we play a little later, then maybe they're crazy and wilder shows. Sure. So it, it really depends, like, I mean, we play so many shows now that it's, it's pretty consistent. Like, we don't, even if we have a bad show, it's not that bad, you know, you know what I mean? Like, so... Yeah. It really depends on the people and how, where they want to go. And it seems like tonight they want to go somewhere, so that, that's always good news, you know. I've heard a lot of um, people. We've, we've asked a few people what they would ask you if, if they, if they were to meet you. Yeah. And a lot of things. A lot of people are asking what your influences were. So is yeah. there any, is there any, uh, a few bands that you would say you really take influence from? Well, it'd be funny because I think a lot of people I took influences don't. I didn't like necessarily take musical influences. I took kind of, um, I, I don't know, like for example, like Bjork, for example. When I was younger. I was studying classical music at the time, and I, I didn't wasn't really that into like songwriting necessarily. So Bjork would have been an interesting, like a very important person in the sense where she mixed like very kind of modern music with like song form. So in a sense, like she would be pretty important when I was younger, especially when I decided to start this project. I think stuff like anywhere from Nick Drake to like Paul Simon, Garfunkel in the song, in yeah. the Beatles and stuff. But then, like on the instrumental side, it would have came more from like Debussy and Eric Satie, which are classical players, and then a lot of like left-wing electronics as well. So it, we kind of go in little places and take little pieces of puzzle from everywhere. So we don't have any like main bands, but for sure, I guess like bands like Radiohead and Pink Floyd were another bands that had kind of big instrumental aspect to the music with songs. So those bands would have been important, you know, for us to kind of inspiring to see, you know. So fantastic. Kind of a little bit everywhere, you know. Great. Right. And one more question: How are you enjoying Sydney in the summertime? Well, I went to Kaima for the last two days, so I kind of oh, got out right. of the city. I just want to go to the nature. Because if we're going to be in Australia, it might as well be in, like, I want to be in, just try to be as far away from the cities and be in, like, kind sure. of, it's supposed to, you know, it's, it's kind of sad because I didn't get to see the Great Barrier Reef or any of the stuff I really wanted to go see. So next time I come, I'm going to plan it a little better so I can spend time in the woods, you know. And how was the, did you guys see the blowhole down in Kaima? Actually, I didn't even get to see that because I got there five, like, four o'clock yesterday. I, my girlfriend and my wife were there. We ran to the beach. We swam as fast as we could. Got dinner, we woke up, and then we had to take a train. So oh. it's kind of like touring's really tough, you know. You, you just kind of try to get as much you can in the little moments you get, you know. Fantastic, mate. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your time here. Uh, cheers, man. Cheers, mate. Have a good one.